Hello there, Amber Spratley here. Thank you for being with me tonight for News Now at 10. A four day festival is underway, providing a space for songwriters to perform in front of music lovers. Jacoby Rivers starts us off tonight with the Mississippi Songwriters Festival Day 3. On the coast of Mississippi, he lived a man. Music filled the air in Jackson County as festival goers spent their Saturday stopping at venues to listen to the artists. Days go by, and somehow Jeremy Threfall was one of them. He started singing at the age of five. Uh, my mom stuck me up on stage and told me to do something, so I figured I'd just start singing, and that's how it happened, you know? When he got to college, he challenged himself to write a song. I started um, for a project, for a biology project. I wrote a rap called Plasma Membrane Rap. Got myself an A, by the way. Before long, what started as a project turned to a passion. I was able to start buying some equipment and, you know, learning to record, things like that. I do a lot of recordings. I've recorded bands and things like that as well. So it kind of evolved into just, you know, a free-for-all in music and recordings. Jeremy says while he is no stranger to performing in front of his friends and family, this festival gave him a different opportunity to perform in front of complete strangers. You know, of course, there's parts I wished I did a little better, but I mean, for my first time, I was pleased. So, and the audience was great. The organizers were awesome. <laughs> he says even though he was nervous, he's already learning from his experience performing live. And just enjoy it, you know, enjoy your practicing and enjoy um, the moment you have to, to perform and share your, your heart through your music. So that's probably the most important thing to me. In Jackson County, Jacoby Rivers, WLOX News Now. That is Craig Cortello there. I believe he was part of the festival as well. He spent a little downtime from the festival helping support the Jackson County Animal Shelter. Staged outside the pet shop here, Cortello sang dog related songs from his album for everyone passing by. All donations dropped off are going to a local group called Friends of the Jackson County Animal Shelter going to the shelter itself. The group president says while adopting a pet helps, it's also important to spay and neuter your furry friends. So it cuts down on the OB population, so the shelters are always full and we don't have enough adopters. So if you spay and neuter, it will help cut down on the overpopulation in this area, which is much needed. 